What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I have something epic. This is footage of one of the exotic chest armors or chest pieces that are believed to not actually be a part of the game yet or are actually a part of the game, they're just not known how to actually be obtained. Now these are the ATS slash 8 Tarantulas, an extremely rare exotic chest armor for the Hunter. Now with these there are also Warlock exotics, Titan exotics and a few others that are a part of the game which no one knows how to get these were obtained by G Low Green who for starters I'd like to thank for letting me record this rare piece he does stream quite often so go show this dude some love his stream is linked in the top of that video description now first off this is a dude who is new to Destiny he only just got the game and started playing it when the Taken King came out as seen by his Grimoire score. He at first had no idea that he was one of only three in the world who had this armor and because of this he received a shit ton of hate from the Destiny community which is pretty shitty to be honest. He's been accused of being a hacker, he's been accused of being a bungee worker, he's been constantly spammed with hateful messages from people accusing him of keeping secrets from the Destiny community and so forth. Now I bet you're wondering how he actually got this exotic chest armor. Now we actually got it from a legendary engram which dropped in week 1. It's been known that it was a bug and I have heard that Luke Smith confirmed this bug happening and it has been fixed. So these won't drop again for the time being. So for all the serious crazy hardcore destiny dudes spamming this dude with hateful disrespectful messages you need to calm the fuck down. This is basically a new dude to the destiny community so seriously chill out. I can confirm also this did not drop from any quest he has done. I can guarantee he got these as a part of the bug Luke Smith talked about as well as the other two people who got them as well. So moving on from how we actually got these let's check out what they offer. He's dropped offering 290 defense. The exotic mods called the Tarantula. Take reduced arc damage from minions of the darkness. Arc grenades and arc blade recharge faster. So straight up this is to be used strictly with blade dancer. He then has the option to increase either intellect or discipline. Then the choice to hold either more fusion rifle or hand cannon ammunition. Then he has a choice of either arc armor which is increased armor when using the arc based subclass and arc burn defense reduces incoming arc burn defense. So for an arc burn nightfall these things will be amazing but for anything else these are going to be subpar but that's exotics for you. But yep, these are the ATS slash 8 Tarantulas obtained by Gelo Green, who you can find streams linked below in that video description. Go show this dude some love. Also, I want to add, you know as he's a new player to the game, initially when he first got these, he almost dismantled them as he didn't know what they were and it wasn't until somebody in patrol pointed them out to him that he soon figured. And to be honest, after the abuse and disrespect this dude has received, I'm surprised he still plays. You guys know I do YouTube for a living. Destiny is basically my life at the minute. And even I can say, this is only a damn game. Some people take this shit way too seriously. I mean, to be accused of withholding info from the Destiny community is pretty damn sad. I mean, there's no reason for this guy to lie. And I spoke to him quite a lot and I can tell you guys straight away he's an honest dude. But yep guys these are the ATS slash H Horantula chest armors for that hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right.